Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's old Pappy back with another one and we're jumping right into this exciting new map. I'm really, really excited to be able to finally get a chance to play this map. I was on it a few times in the test server. And uh, so in this video, we're gonna show you basically snippets of two games. Um, my first game on the new map. And I gotta admit right off the bat, what a crazy disorienting experience it was to be on this map for the first time with all the skins on there and all of the um, all the extra bells and whistles on the map I gotta say that right off the bat I don't know what you guys uh, but um, when I was testing these maps on the on the test server and for those of you that actually do that a lot of times the maps are actually just blocked out almost like like uh, Lego really or um, you know uh, like Minecraft, right? They're just kind of squares without the uh, with, with form and structure, but the skins aren't on there. And so to finally be able to get a chance to play this in real life, I am really, really impressed by what I'm seeing. Um, let's come around here and see if I can actually live long enough to shoot this guy. There are all kinds of cool little aspects of this map. Um, there's there's uh, terrain that can kill you, like the lava. Obviously, obviously you can get shot and die as well. Um, but there's all kinds of cool stuff on this map. Um, and we're going to basically just rush through this first little footage. You're going to kind of see me scramble around. And then and then I'm going to do another game where I kind of do a little bit more exploring. Uh, just to kind of see where are all the cool spots on the map. But anyway, let's get started right away. What do you need to know? Well, this map is a mine platform you got this cool thing I like to pretend it's kind of in the other side of the mountains remember the mountain the mountain ice map that we used to have years and years ago it seems like they took it away from us well I like to believe this is what's on the other side of that map because you can see the mountains off in the distance there and they also have these cool teleport uh, pads and so if you can kind of get onto one of the teleport pads you can basically appear on the other side of the map in uh, specific locations and right now I'm in these cool little structures you can see here I'm kind of dipping in and I'm, t I'm killing a guy here and there it's also a good place to hide you know if you're really getting pelted bad uh, <laughs> kind of like what I am right now um, and then you know uh, let's just see what else so we're over here on the beacon um, you know like I can, like I said before when I started the video to take a step back uh, I find this to be a bit of a chaotic map and one of the reasons why is this in most maps there are um, you know there are a few landmarks that really really stick out and help you get oriented when you're playing like in Springfield um, you know you're either on the farm side or you're on the uh, sort of the, the more busy structure side of the map um, I'm trying to think if you know um, Canyon is very wide open so you don't get confused when you're on the map the one thing I would say about this map is that a lot of the buildings all look the same so therefore it gets confusing to orient yourself on the map I mean if you look in the background there is a bit of a difference in the sky um, there is a bit of a stormy part of the sky so you can kind of orientate yourself that way but when you look around here um, you know I mean you tell me what and I'd love to hear from you in the comments what are the what are the landmarks in this map that help you figure out where the hell you are and where you want to go because when you combine the fact that it kind of looks the same right um, if when you combine that with the fact that in addition you have these teleports that allow you to kind of instantly zap from one side of the map to the other I find there's a bit of a, a few seconds of disorientation after you make that transportation you know you teleport where you're kind of looking around like which which direction am I pointing in here like whom you know especially if you're getting shot by somebody so that makes it a bit tough but anyway, let's get over here. Let's take another look around. So you can see off in the distance. Okay, so there is clearly, oh, look at that, isn't that so funny? This is why I'm gonna show you two games because you know the game's already over. I mean, that was literally the first game I played on that map and it was really chaotic. Um, I only got 1100 damage or, or 1.1 million damage, I should say. We won, yeah, hooray. Uh, but okay, let's, let's dive back in here and thanks for sticking around. Let's dive back in here now with my scorpion and let's just kind of look around at some of the structures. Okay, so let's get oriented. So there's like the volcano in the background. There's some smoke coming up out of the sky or the ground or something. Um, maybe it's just an open, pine, um, you know, open pit mine. And then there's this kind of um, lava stuff, right? So if you go touch that lava, you die. If you go to your right and you jump off this bridge, um, you die. So that's one thing to remember right away. Okay, so I just teleported in behind this guy with my scorpion. And look at the, look at, okay, watch me kill this guy. 
But most importantly, behind me is one of those teleports. So we're going to go onto the teleport and look at this. Oh, isn't that so funny? And the skele or a scorpion tried to come in behind me. And there he is. So he teleported with me. So this is what I mean by that crazy dynamic aspect of the, of the map. I went in, in the middle of a battle, ended up in a teleport zone. A scorpion appeared behind me. And then a couple seconds later, he followed me through the teleport and was able to attack me. And so I think really the next level, and you look at all that lava there too, holy cow, that's all, that'll kill you. If you go in there, that's, that'll kill you, right? So again, keep an eye out for that kind of, um, that, that fixture on the ground, it will kill you. But it, this is, it makes it a really confusing map because right now, to be honest, I have no idea where I am. I'm looking around, all I see are buildings that look the same, I'm dead. Um, okay, so there's three beacons to, very briefly, when you saw that glimpse of the map, there's three to the right, or to the left, and a couple over to the right. But it really is going to take some getting used to, clearly. And this guy doesn't know, isn't that funny, he doesn't even know I'm behind him. Hello! Hello! Hello, Vicar! Anyway, I'm going to kill this guy. Who else can I kill? <laughs> Let's come Let's come around the corner here. Um, okay, so there's, you know, there's a guy teleporting. And this, again, it makes it really confusing. When you have guys that you, when you have people that can teleport, because their robot's ability is to teleport, and you have teleports that allow you to teleport, half the time when someone's appearing behind you, you don't know if it's a scorpion that's only there for a few seconds, or if it's somebody coming in um, because you happen to be standing next to a, tele <laughs> a teleport pad. So anyway, so um, we've got our hands full here, that's for sure. We got Mr. Um, Mr. Shell. And look at that, he just blew me backwards. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a moment, oh, look at this guy, he doesn't even know I'm here. Isn't that funny? I'm telling you, man, like, th this is a confusing map. Obviously, that guy is confused. He didn't even see me there, right? And this is what I'm saying. So, okay, yeah, so he knows I'm there now. He, um, oh, and I appear behind him. Again, adding to the confusion. I really would love to hear you guys uh, let me know what you think in the comments, but I think these maps with teleports make it very chaotic in terms of gameplay because you don't know who's appearing behind you at any moment for any reason. Especially when people can, uh, like earlier in the game when that scorpion teleported behind me using his ability and teleported on top of a teleport pad and then teleported and followed me across the map. That was kind of crazy, right? So, um, anyway, let's get in here. I think there's only a, yeah, there's only about a minute and a half left in the video. So, let's keep attacking these guys, see if we can take some guys down with me. Gotta see how we're doing. You know, we're kind of holding our own, but we're actually, uh, you know, I just got a bad feeling that I'm not liking the way that this game is going. I feel like we're kind of just gonna, you know, a little bit of lag there, you can see. I'm not saying that's specific to the map. I mean, I just, I, whenever I play, I hate to say it, there's always lag, it drives me nuts. Um, let's see if I can get in behind this guy. Okay, there's a, oh, that's a hawk. That's a hawk. We don't want to go near the hawk right now. I like to chase this guy down. Look at this, I'm getting hit from behind. That's never something you want to hear. Let me see if I hammer this guy. There we go, there we go. Oh, look at that. Son of a gun, a Demeter just popped in behind me. And that's another robot. Again, to remind you, that's another robot that really, really makes it confusing on the battlefield. When you have now, you have scorpions that can teleport, phantoms that can teleport, Demeters that can teleport, and you're playing a map where people teleport. It gets, it's really hard to keep track of who's who and what's what here. Um, you know, I think that, to me, if there's anything I would love to hear from you guys is, and drop me a line in the comments, what are you guys using in terms of frames of reference. Holy cow, look what this guy, whoa, look at this guy. Look what he just did. Oh my God, he just blew me halfway across the map. Oh my gosh, and look at that, I escaped certain death. If I had been just like another 10 feet to the right, I would have flew right off this mining platform into like the, 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 the massive drop off below. Anyway, I survived, looks like we lost. Um, but anyway, uh, that's sort of it for the, the video. I just wanted to give you my final thoughts. At this point, um, with so many maps currently out of out of um, commission right now, getting redone by Pixonic, I'm happy to get any map. I think it's a lot of fun, but it is sure chaotic. So I'd love to hear from you guys. How do you guys adjust to the chaos of the map? Any tips, tips and uh, trips? Or God, I'm not, I can't even talk anymore. Any tips or tricks for uh, for your fellow players? Let us know. And until next time, I'll see you in the battlefield. Ooh.